welcome to Mama Ruth's house. So glad you stopped in. Today we're going to be doing something very special. We're going to be making what we used to call hamburger gravy. This was my sister-in-law Diane's, one of her go-to meals that they loved. Her mother showed us how to make it. Um, they're from Georgia. And I want to dedicate this episode. Uh, Diane has been uh, has passed about two years ago, and I want to dedicate this episode to her son Chris and daughter Alicia, and her brothers and sister that are are left here. Um, I will put in the uh, recipe as it was written before how we made it, and the lightened up version. It's normally made with ground beef, hence hamburger gravy, but we're going to make it with 99% fat-free turkey. It is also made with boiled potatoes, and we used to just put some butter and salt and pepper on them, serve this over them or on the side of them, you ate it with it, and cornbread. Um, I've already made some cornbread. I just make the jiffy cornbread. We'll have the recipe in the description. And I use water and one egg and that's it. Um, and for the full fat version, we used to put, uh, while this was hot, when it first came out of the oven, we would put butter on the top of it, but I'm not going to do that. And if we, if I choose to put some uh, margarine, I'll, I'll have to count it as my Weight Watcher points. I'm going to let that cool a little bit. I think I'm going to put it out on a plate. It happens when you're cooking. It's okay. And I put them in water and salt and I'm boiling them. That will go along with our meal here. I'm going to put you down so you can see what we're doing. You know when uh, folks pass on, we want to still honor them and uh, remember what they liked uh, to do and cook and and so that we don't lose these recipes along the way. I'm going to add the onions cut up. Just cook them till they're translucent. I remember uh, many, many, many times uh, Diane and I hung out together a lot. I was there for uh, both Chris and Alicia's birth. Um, I helped her along the way and she helped me. She used to babysit for me when my children were small. And I remember many times we would be visiting and chatting it up and, and she'd say, hey, I have some ground beef at home or hey, I have pork chops or whatever. And then I said, oh, I have all the sides. And we would make dinner together and she would just call her husband from work and say, hey, come over to uh, Chuck and Ruth's because we're going to have dinner there. And we would cook together many, many, many times over the years. And this was one of our go-to meals. It goes around a lot uh, for a big, big crowd. You can make it with, with two packages of meat, um, double it, and we doubled the cornbread and, and of course the potatoes and um, many times we would have this for dinner. I only hope that this, um, this video that Chris and Alicia will know how we used to make it and be able to make it for their families and carry it on. I never measured the uh, the spices, so I will have to figure out how many how much I'm putting in. I'm going to start with a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, and um, half a teaspoon of pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt, and we'll see how it tastes. And we may need to add more, and I'll correct the um, ingredients in the description once we figure out what we're doing here. 
I always used to put the potatoes on first so that they were boiling. Um, the cornbread only took 15 minutes, so I would start this and be uh, getting the, while this is browning the, the meat, I would put the, the cornbread mix into the oven. And the cornbread is just one egg, a third of a cup of water, we used water, and one box of the Jiffy Muffin Mix. And you just spray your pan. And um, actually, I have another episode that has the butter bean recipe and it has the it will have the cornbread i may just add the cornbread um video to this as well and that way we'll have that that on here so what i did is i put in um two tablespoons of the i can't believe it's not butter vegan and I also added a teaspoon of olive oil to this, and that's what I'm sauteing the onions in. Um, the way we used to make it is we would saute, we would add some oil, do this, ground the, uh, brown the ground beef, and then we would also add a whole stick of butter. But I'm not going to do that. But that's what the original recipe was. I've made it this way and it's good this way as well. I like it this way just as, as well. I think in the South they cooked with a lot of butter. I hope everyone had a wonderful day. Hope your week is going well. We're having a pretty warm streak here in uh, Central California, but it's supposed to be getting cooler. It's going to only be in the low 80s or upper 70s for the week. We may even get a chance of rain. This smells good already. Brings back so many memories. Good ones. It's a simple recipe. Very easy to make. I think now I would probably even add some vegetables to the side. Um, we used to use corn on the side. You could do that or anything that you'd like. All right, we're going to go ahead and add the ground turkey. Break that up. do it with lean ground beef and it would be fairly low in points this way it's it's fairly low in points it's um it's basically the the butter because the turkey that is 99% is zero points so if you're doing the Weight Watcher program this is a very healthy alternative and still very tasty I used to come home from work and cook dinner, and many times I'd forget to lay something out, and this was a good go-to recipe because I could cook, I could uh, thaw out the meat. I would just put it in frozen, put a lid on it, and cook it slowly and keep uh, scraping off the meat until it got uh, thawed out. All right, I'm going to add the salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. We're just going to brown this. I'm going to go ahead and make corn with it. Just going to do canned corn. We used to add uh, butter, and I put a little bit of pepper in there. I'm not going to add the butter. All right. I 
I might need two tomato sauces because this doesn't have as much fat and we're not adding all that butter, but we'll see how it, it looks. Smells so good. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as our family has over the years. I'm going to add the tomato sauce and I'm going to add just a little bit of water from the can. We'll just do a can of water in there. Now I have done this before where I have added some bell peppers. You could do that if you'd like, but I don't, that's not how she used to do it. She used to just do it like this. And with the ground beef, it looks a little different than the way it looks now. But it looks the same to me. I'm going to let it cook a little bit so it kind of cooks out some of that liquid. I'm going to check our potatoes over here, see how good they are. So we would do it like this and then we would just, uh, I would just cook it for a little bit and get the liquid out and then we'd be done and we'd be ready to serve. I'm going to taste it just to see if I need any seasonings. Definitely. I need some more salt. So let's see. So we probably needed a teaspoon of salt versus a half a teaspoon. A little bit more onion and uh, garlic powder. Probably a little more pepper as well. I put a half of a teaspoon earlier. Made three quarters altogether. I'm going to write the recipe as making a a large can of tomato sauce instead of the small one or two small cans. I think that will work better, but it looks good, tastes good. I'm going to drain my potatoes and then put them back over here to keep warm. So our potatoes just look like that. Yeah, it's thickening up a little bit. Exactly what we want. I want to thank you for following me. It helps my channel if you subscribe and, and uh, share and hit that like bu button down there. I appreciate it. If you have any ideas of things you would like to uh, me to make, please post it and I will be happy to do so. I still owe Jessica some eggplant parm and some chicken parmesan.
actually, I think it was uh, chicken fried steak as well. We'll be doing that pretty soon. We'll serve it with a little bit of margarine and salt and pepper on our potatoes and the corn on the side, cornbread and the hamburger gravy. Oh yeah, it's nice. I'm gonna get a, a large. So this is off. We're just letting it cook a little bit more just to it looks great. Okay. Here we go. We're going to try it. Let me bring you up. You can see I got a little bit of everything. I'm so glad that you joined me and I'm ha I'm I miss Diane. She was a dear friend. And I miss my nieces and nephews. And I love them all. And this is to you. Mm. Very delicious. Brings back a lot of memories. Good ones. And to next time, have a fantastic day. Thank you so much. <music>